Mid-November in New England. Temperatures are falling and Edward Markarian is making the rounds, delivering heating oil and sticker shock to his customers. As much as I hate to show them the bill, they like the gas, but they understand what's going on. From the Northeast to the Midwest, meteorologists predict a cold winter, which could make it an expensive one, too. You have to heat your home and, you know, you just have to pay the higher cost. Prices have already jumped dramatically. Natural gas up 130% from a year ago. Heating oil up 59%. And prices could move even higher as the months get colder. From Americans warming their homes to filling their tanks. Gas prices are bananas. I drive my car for a living, so yeah, at $4 a gallon, you're like, really? I don't have enough money to pay for gas every day, so this is crazy. The national average for unleaded now 341 a gallon, a seven-year high. That's up from 211 last year during the pandemic economic slowdown. Filling up on the West Coast right now even worse. 387 in Washington, 396 in Nevada, and a staggering 464 in California. Now some lawmakers are calling on President Biden to tap into the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. But experts say the nation is largely at the mercy of the global energy markets and the reserve is only meant for short-term emergencies. Keep in mind that any release from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve would only satisfy a small portion of global daily demand. This is much uh, a much bigger picture than just the U.S. alone. Meanwhile, record inflation could spell trouble for the president's massive $1.75 trillion social spending package. 